Hi guys, so when I was recording the video before, I guess I did not have the sound on, go figure, with my microphone, so let's try again. So we're going to talk about the distributive property, which is what's on our choice board this week. So if I have a problem like 3 times 3 plus 2x, the distributive property means you're taking the number on the outside and multiplying it by everything on the inside. So 3 times 3 is 9, and then 3 times 2 is 6, and I bring the x along for the ride. So I have 9 plus 6x. Because 9 doesn't have an x on it, they are not like terms, so I stop there. They are, I can't combine them. That's my... Um, equivalent expression. So let's try another one. Let's try one with a fraction. So let's say I have one half times 2x plus 8. So one half times 2. Well, half of 2 is 1. So I would just have x. And then half of 8 is 4. So plus 4. So because the 4 doesn't have an x on it, it's just x plus 4. Let's take a look at some negative numbers. Let's say if I have a negative 2 times, let's say, 3 plus 4x. So negative 2 times 3 would be negative 6. Negative 2 times 4 would be negative 8. And I bring the x along for the ride. So I have negative 6 minus 8x. Let's try one more. Let's say I have um, <clears throat> 5 times uh, 2a plus 3b minus 4c. So I'm going to take the 5. I'm going to multiply it by the 2a. So I get 10a. 5 times 3b, so that's 15b. And then the 5 times a negative 4c, so that's going to be a negative 20c. So a, b, and c, they're not the same letter, so I can't combine them. So when I look at my distributed property, I take the number on the outside and I multiply them by all the numbers on the inside. Now, if I want to look at greatest common factor, we're talking about all the numbers that you can multiply together to get that number. So let's talk about 24. Well, I can do 1 times 24 to get 24. I could do 2 times 12. I could do 3 times 8. I could do 4 times 6. And well, 5 doesn't go into 24. 5 times nothing is 24. So those are all my factors because greatest common factors are all the numbers that I can multiply by something else to get 24. And let's look at a number like 18. Let's compare those. So that would be 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Well, 4 doesn't go in. 5 doesn't go in, and then I hit 6, so I know I've got all my factors. So now I'm looking for the greatest common factor, the biggest number they have in common. So I see that they have 1 in common, 2 in common, 3 in common, they don't have 4 in common, they have 6 in common, they don't have 9 in common, and they don't have 18 in common. So 6 is my greatest common factor. Okay, so greatest common factor is the number of factors, which are numbers that you multiply together to get a number. A multiple is when I would say like 24, 48, 72, 96. It's when I'm counting by that number. All right? I hope you have a great rest of your day and let me know if you have any other questions.